Alrighty guys, the 2012 Chevy Silverado is back in the shop today. Uh, on this one, we were, I guess, uh, a little bit late on time. And this is where we had a mock up amplifier on, on the rear, um, under the seat. But we're going to go ahead and put this guy up on the back wall where it was supposed to go. Um, but other than that, no problems. I mean, it sounds clean, clear. The base is well defined. He's happy with it. So we're just going to put that up on the back wall. He's got a little bit of time uh, for us to do that today. And then as far as on, on the, the head unit and all that good stuff and, and how we integrated the, the steering wheel controls and then the OnStar and then the, the, the digital display for the XM radio, uh, it was a great integration. I mean, everything worked the way it was supposed to. It's just the customer wasn't really thrilled on the, on the idea of him having to use this for his XM radio and select and tune and all that and channels and, and artists. So we're going to go ahead and do it with the Kenwood, take out the Kenwood, and we're going to be putting in... Um, a brand spanking new uh, Pioneer uh, AVH uh, 44BH. It's the it's the newest one. It's 2012 brand spanking new. It's the full seven inch uh, touchscreen. It's got Bluetooth. I mean, you could he could expand to his heart's desire. On the Pioneer, you have that uh, IP bus, and you could add as many as many accessories as, as they make. On this one, you can't do nothing. But it's a good unit. I mean, it, it's. I mean, it, it did the job. I mean, if it wasn't for that, it would have been all gravy. But also, he wasn't too thrilled on how we uh, had to use the auxiliary because uh, Kenwood only has this front auxiliary. And then on top of that, the USB for these Kenwoods, you have to buy Kenwood's USB for iPod to work. And as far as on the Pioneer, Pioneer, they don't play those games. Pioneer, you could use your uh, uh, iPod uh, USB connector and direct connect, charge, and you just use everything on the menus as you would right here. So we're going to be switching that over and over here's the product. See it right there guys. Let's check out the stamp. So right now we're in February. Check that out. Not even a month ago this thing was out there in China being assembled. <laughs> okay. And then um, and then for, for him to get the XM to, to work the way he wants it to work off of, off of the head unit and not be off of the, the front display with the metro piece on the, on the dash. We're gonna be using this guy right here. This is the the Pioneer. This is the only way to do it with the Pioneer. It, it's it's the it's the it's the XM series tuner um, for the Pioneers. This gets connected to the IP bus, and then I mean right off of there, the XM is gonna be an option connected to the op, uh, to the auction, and uh, we're just gonna switch over the the XM uh, ID from the factory. Uh, it's it's tuner ID over to this tuner ID, and like that, it'll connect and it'll work. We'll show you guys that. And then a new kit because how we had to cut up the his a little bit for the auxiliary. We'll put him a new one. He he he's a good guy. He's a good customer, so we'll do him we'll do him good like that. Okay, well let's get to it, guys. Alrighty, guys, we got the head unit already installed. We got everything rock and roll. All, all the steering wheel controls work awesome, man. And honestly, this new Pioneer man is just the bomb. It, it's super clean, man. Okay, and then for the for the XM tuner, we also got that already installed as well. And it's very strong. One thing I'll tell you, the factory XM antenna did not pick up reception here. The Pioneer uh, XM tuner picks up reception even under here. Super clean. Usually all the Pulse DJs are here on Saturday to host the Top 15 Countdown. And it's a, a big party, covered dish, although one of us brings... The and then for the XM Tuner, I mean, we went ahead and made space because, I mean, with that GM, uh, GM OS 100 behind the dash, I mean, the real estate is gone. I mean, it's all purchased. I mean, it is no more. Okay, and to make that go away, it's got to hit off and it goes away, so it won't go back on there. This right here is where we went ahead and put the, the Pioneer XM Tuner. Yes, sir. There's plenty of space for it. I mean, right there's where it fits awesome. And all the wiring, ran everything nice and clean. Done deal. Just got to button that back up on there. Los de la migra pensaron que no 
sabían Side loop, but I know about the north side blues and them south side reds. I run the FNF crew to my man Chilly Chill. Come home and he back on dead. My garage keep a very fast car, keep a classic gold chain wrapped around my neck. Yeah, I came from the left, but I'm down with the fridge. Speak on, I don't know, so I'm gonna be on. I'm gonna be on, 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 I'm gonna be on